actually sitting on like my chair. So I'm curious if I tap on it, if you can hear it at all. Anyway. recommending some spooky books, some seasonal books, just some like mystery, thriller, horror, kind of, kind of books, you know, you know? I thought this could be fun for this season, and um, yeah, just let me know if uh, you, 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 you like these kinds of videos, if you're a fan. Horror, horror, and thrillers, 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 horror, thrillers, horror, thrillers. Mysteries, mystery, mysteries, mysteries. Because if you are, I can certainly make another video like this. It's only the beginning of the season. The fall season. And I actually listen to a mature. listen to um, just because you're constantly wanting to know what happens next or you're being left on a cliffhanger a cliffhanger hanger, 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 at the end of a chapter so you just want to keep going and I just find that they're really you know enjoyable and easy to listen to so I actually don't own a lot of mystery and thriller books so today I picked Six of them. Six of them. I picked six of them that I do own, that I did really enjoy, or that I think others could really enjoy. Potentially. Potentially. Um, but like I said, if you like this video, then I can totally do another one. I might have to pick up some of my favorites. Which I've actually been meaning to do for so long. Or perhaps I can do a little bit of a like spooky book haul. I have been putting um, many, many books on hold at, at my job. Oh no. Someone's vacuuming. Someone's vacuuming. I'll be right back. Right back. Right back. 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 Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I am back. So anyway. because I have a lot on my list. Um, but for now, these are just some that I happen to also have a physical copy of. So yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get into it, let's just get into it, okay? So the first book I have here is Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke. Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke. I read this at a time where I used to put the out so far and it bothers me so much but it does make for good days things have gotten worse since we last spoke this book is definitely like one of the most disturbing books i've personally read follows these two girls in the early 2000s, maybe even the year 2000, as they, um, hold on, let me just, you have something on your, okay, uh, so, wait, I'm still there, okay, 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 perfect, perfect, a little better now, um, it follows these two women, they're like, they start by, like, talking in a chat room, Session. 
primarily one of them is like obsessed with the other and then they form this sort of relationship um it definitely has like a it's definitely like romantic leaning but it's mostly just about like obsession <laughs> now this is sold as like things have got worse since we last spoke and other stories and it has a different cover just so you know if you're interested in purchasing it but yeah it's super thin super short um i did read it all in one sitting and it was like there were some parts that were super disturbing If you're looking for that kind of horror, I definitely recommend this. And this author in general, I've heard great things about. Well. I would definitely read more from this author. I just haven't gotten around to it. to find like a good a perfect one a perfect one and a perfect one this one looks pretty good okay it says this is by john skip who's written the light at the end apparently when broken people do broken things especially in the name of love we all get broken too what starts as sweet on this tiny spine, tiny spine.
just for entertainment. And I mean, a lot of books that you read at school are just for entertainment. To a degree. But I'm sure you could break this apart. And maybe read it in English class for some reason. But um, also because... I read this first book so long ago at this point, like probably close to like four years ago, uh, maybe less. It just feels that long, uh, but quite a while ago. And then I read the second and third ones as well. I liked those ones so much more than just the first original one. Hold the second and the third one. I actually listened to the second one on audio, which was really good too because it um, has this like podcast element to it. So I haven't gotten around to watching the show yet though, but I really should. Yeah, this is essentially about this girl who's in high school. event that is infamous in our town and she decides that for a school project she's gonna like reanalyze the case and look through it and try to see what she thinks is the, the you know the case and uh, who is the actual you know just to see if like everything is factually Let's just say there's there's a lot to be discovered. There's a lot to be discovered about this case, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'd say what people really love about the series is that the main character is super endearing. There's also like a subplot, a subplot. I think it's a pretty solid series, and like, the rest of the series, like I said, just keeps getting better and better. This is technically young adult. This one is actually kind of like a take on Dracula's wives. So you're following, you start by following this one girl who's like about to die. Clearly there's like just an incident and her and her family are about to die and then she's saved by a vampire who is Dracula. And um, it just kind of, you know, goes through her life at first and then like as the centuries I really like the way it was written. I really like the, the writing. But um, it's also interesting because it really plays around with like different relationship dynamics as well as like, like kind of the, I want to say like the reality, but there's not a lot of reality. out of that 
reading this there were so many more things I wanted answers for and like it just didn't feel finished to me so I think I ended up giving this one like 3.5 to 4 stars um, because at first I loved it but then like once I got to the end I just felt unsatisfied but if you like vampires sort of This is my personal favorite Lisa Jewell book. I've only read four of her books, three or four of her books. I think it's definitely four, but I haven't read like her most recent new book. None of this is true. I haven't read that one, but I really want to. One day, for now, this is actually. you're following a few different points of views but you're following as this mother just recently like her daughter went missing but her daughter it was her daughter and her daughter's boyfriend who went missing at the same time but they both have a toddler and they're young parents so different point of views that eventually begin to make sense as to why they're a part of the story in the first place. But yeah, I just love this one. There's so many, so many um, markings in this one because I was just like the whole time scribbling like what I thought was gonna happen or who I was suspicious of. Always recommend this one because a lot of people gravitate towards Lisa Jewell when they're picking up a thriller. She kind of falls into that category of like Lisa Jewell, Sabrina McFadden, like just really popular thriller offers authors that are constantly, constantly, constantly putting out stuff. So this is the one I always recommend. Just my Guide 
read this probably like two-ish years ago and this was one that definitely like grew on me over time at first I wasn't really that interested in it at all but then I became very invested I will say this book does get like weird and disturbing at points so beware but it's kind of it's kind of hard a group of mothers, a group of mothers, um, who are a part of this book club, and I'll tell you what I do remember about this, is that you're primarily following one mother who then realizes that this guy who's kind of infiltrated himself into the town and community is a vampire, and then she tries to, like, convince her friends and everyone else that, like, this is the proof he's a vampire. in reality to a degree so I think that's that's part of what makes this uh, a little unique in that way I guess like he's basically the main fantastical element if you will like horror element but the rest of the story is set really like this one too. I gave this one like four stars at least. I'm almost positive. I remember like by the end of this I was very invested in what was going on here. really many quotes other than the ones on the back. So, let's see. This one says, A charming testament to friendships and life's imperfections with dashes of rot and savagery. This one I actually did read around this time as well. And it was definitely very, very, very atmospheric. Okay, the last one is The Chained. The Chain. So, this is a thriller book. It's essentially about a chain of people who, when their child is kidnapped, they're essentially
Paris kidnapped their child to, to their child, right? So their child was taken. They basically get a phone call saying, you have to go take someone's child in order to get yours back. Right, 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 right. It says, you just dropped off your child at the bus stop. A panicked stranger calls your phone. Your child has been kidnapped. The stranger then explains that their child has also been kidnapped by a completely different stranger. it off 